Have you seen the very first episode of Moomin or Mumilaksan tarinoita in Finnish? When Mumipeikko or Mumin Trollen wakes up from his winter sleep and the spring has come and he just screams that spring is here. That is me. I'm so excited. I love spring. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are here for the first time. My name is Katarina and I am so much in spring mood. So today is again time for a very old school makeup pack. This one will be the I Heart Spring Tag. I'm not sure who was the original creator of this video, but multiple people have done this tag. And literally all the videos I have seen made from this tag are made in 2013. So it is five years ago. Oh my God, is it that long? since 2013. Where the time goes? I love spring. I hate winter. Or I don't say I hate winter, but I think winter is too long here in Finland. So every time spring comes, I am so excited. So I wanted to do this tag. I think this is really fun. So let's get into it. This has 12 questions and the question number one is favorite spring nail polish. So my favorite spring nail polish is what I'm wearing today. I'm not sure if the quality is my favorite, but the color and the name is my favorite. So it is the Essence Gel Nile Polish and this is in the shade A Whisper of Spring. And I think the name is so on point. This is this light lavender lilac shade. So beautiful. The only thing in this one is that the pigmentation is not that good. Usually with this Essence Gel Nail Polishes, two coats is enough for full coverage, but this one is something, this shade, that I have to put two coats. No, three coats. Question number two is, what is your must-have lip color this spring? Okay, so I'm definitely somebody who likes to change lip color quite much and I usually like bold lips, <laughs> as you may see. However, one lip color is something that I always gravitate for. It's just my favorite of all lip colors and that is like bright red lip. Classic red lip. In spring I don't want my red to be too deep so I have here the Milani Moisture Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Matte Iconic. So this is very classic red lips but compared to many other red lipsticks that I have, this one is not quite as deep. This is a little bit brighter. It is this like blue undertone red, not too warm. Usually I like my red lips to be just a tiniest bit deeper, but this is a little bit brighter than my like absolutely favorite red color. Another color that I am really loving when it's spring is pink, of course. So I do have here NYX matte lipstick and this is in shade Sweet Pink. They do have also shade Shocking Pink. It is a little bit similar to this one. I think the brightness is about the same in these shades, but this one is just a little bit warmer. That's why I think this is for me a little bit more wearable pink. So it's really pretty hot pink, but it has just the right amount of warmness for me. So I think these two will be my go-to lip colors this spring. But keep in mind, I change lip color all the time. And if I do feel in spring that I want to wear black lipstick, I'm going to wear black lipstick. I don't really care. But those are a couple that I wanted to mention. Question number three is, so as your favorite spring dress. Okay, so... In Finland, spring is actually quite cold and I am definitely not somebody who is dressing to dresses or skirts when it's cold. I never wear dresses when it's winter, but when it's summer and when it's warm, I all the time wear dresses because I love dresses. But for me, spring is a little bit too cold to wear dresses. I personally start to wearing them in the beginning of the May. But my favorite type of dresses to wear when it's not too warm yet are quite short jersey dresses that are tight and have long sleeves. Oh my god, I love that kind of dresses. I think they look so good. I want to show you my latest purchase. So this is something I bought from thrift store. So in case you saw my 18 things I want to do in 2018, I told that I want to shop more in thrift stores because it's eco-friendly and you know, you can make 
could find affordable price. So this one is this a black jersey dress. I hope you can see it. It has long sleeves. It's this ripped jersey, and it has this very deep uh, this. What is it called? Oh my god, sometimes I don't know what these words are in English. So I bought this dress from thrift store, but it is China Trick of Dress. I really think this looks so great on. I can't wait to wear it. Amazing dress. Question number four is, what's your favorite flower? Okay, my favorite flower is definitely nothing very springy. My favorite flower is a red rose. When my husband and I got married, our wedding flowers were all red roses. I just love red roses. Question number five is favorite spring scarf or accessory? Okay, so I think scarf is for me something that represents more fall and winter and I'm not that excited about scarves. However, I do have here some caps. So I am super into caps. I have a couple of more than these, but these are something I love in spring. I think these are all from H&M. This one is this like four mocha and it is this cool toned beige. I really like this. I did wear this in my latest video. Then I have here two more like silky material. One is black. It's like goes with everything. Black is usually in clothing my favorite color. And then this is maybe like my favorite spring thing because it's so springy so it's this light warm pink with some flowers this is so beautiful this is however something that i find it a little bit difficult to pair with makeup looks and other clothes so i have to play with makeup a little bit to you know find the color combination i like to wear this with question number six is what spring trends are you most excited about this year makeup fashion or both I am impressed to tell you, but I have no idea what are the fashion trends. I don't follow fashion, but I used to work in a clothing store and, you know, I was very aware of the fashion that is going on, but I haven't been working in a few months. But I will be getting back to my job in the end of this month, so I will get back to fashion track. <laughs> However, makeup is something that it is my passion, it is my hobby, and if there comes an interesting trend, I'm probably going to try it at least. So, as you can probably tell from my face, I'm really excited about this holographic makeup trend. It was definitely something I was not excited about first, but then I decided to give it a go and, you know, play with makeup, and I'm just so feeling it. So today I am all holographic, and also I do have a purple eyeshadow as you can see i think cool tones are coming back more and more they are definitely not something i have been so familiar with but i am so excited question number seven is favorite spring candle i was not a very huge candle person until lately i have been loving to wake up early right now uh, before the sun rises so then i will um burn some candles. However, this may be, you know, a problem in me, but if I do have a scented candle, I do not smell anything unless I'm smelling it like this when it's not burning, of course. But, you know, I just, I don't care if candle is scented or not. Question number eight, favorite body spray or perfume for spring? Okay, so I'm definitely somebody who likes more like those deep and spicy and sexy type of perfumes. But spring is the only time, only time in the year when I like to wear something lighter. So my favorite spring perfume is this The Body Shop Japanese Cherry Blossom. It is sweet, but it's still like feminine and it's like, um, it's not overly sweet. Like I remember when I was a teenager, I used to wear those Escada <laughs> summer scents and I, I just cannot deal with them anymore because I used to put them so much on. Oh my god. I wouldn't wear them anyways because Escada is not cruelty free. But you know, those type of scents are something I cannot handle anymore because I had overdose when I was a teenager. This is like feminine and sweet and quite lightweight. I'm sure that when the summer comes, I find this to be too lightweight. Then I want to move on to something that is more spicy and sexy and deep. Those kind of scents are usually just my type of thing. Question number nine. What is spring like where you live? 
Okay, so in case you don't know, I live in Finland. Spring is extremely cold here, usually. Now it is beautiful outside, like there is blue sky, but there is a lot of snow. There is not leaves on trees. I think the snow goes away usually somewhere in April and the leaves come to trees somewhere in the May in part of Finland where I live. But it is very different here than what it is in northern Finland. There it's like a very cold all year around. Like technically it's like winter still. There is very cold, there is like minus 10 degrees currently, but the sun is shining more. I love that. Okay, so question number 10 is, what's your favorite thing about spring? The thing I just answered, so the fact that sun is shining more and there is all the time more light. I don't even care of the warmth that much, but the light is more important to me because that affects my mood so much. Like seriously, I don't know how that is possible, but if it's cloudy and gray day, I feel a little bit down. But when it's sunny day, I am all like energetic and I'm so happy. And my least favorite part about winter here in Finland is that it's actually very dark. The amount of light in day is so limited and I may feel a little bit depressed because the lack of light. But when the spring comes, I'm actually, I'm usually very happy and very energetic. And and now I have been enjoying to wake up very early that I am awake all the time that sun is shining because the daylight is for me so important. So question number 11 is, are you a spring cleaner? I wish I was, but I am not cleaner at all. I hate cleaning. I am absolutely no spring cleaner. The only thing I will clean is my closet and my makeup collection. Question number 12 is, any plans for spring break or an upcoming vacation? Not a vacation, no, I have had time to relax because I have been unemployed, but in the end of March I will get back to jobs. Okay, so those were all the 12 questions in this tag. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please put thumbs up and see you in my next video. Bye bye!